everybody and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, as I'm sure you can tell by the title, I'm going to be baking, well not really baking to be honest, but making these Disney Frozen 2 cupcakes. I got these a few weeks ago, just will be fun to do it in a video really I guess. Um, so yeah, pretty cool if you ask me, but we're going to be making these today. And I'm also just doing a bit of a catch up because I kind of, for the past few months my YouTube's been a bit like mismatched with when I upload and stuff but I'm now back so I thought I would just do a bit of a catch up and I've also got some questions on my phone that I'm going to be answering um just as and when really throughout the video so yeah um without further ado let's get on the video okay so I'm start by getting a bowl I normally when I bake use my like standing mixer but because it's literally just these I don't really feel like I need to so I'm just going to grab a bowl and Dead. This one should do. Right, so in here, what do you get in here? Let's have a little look. Oh, you get the cupcake little thing. Oh my god, they're tiny. <laughs> you get them, which is good. Um, you get the icing sugar. You get the kitchen mix. And the little stickers. So, you can start by opening this up and just pouring it into my bowl. So guys, my birthday is in a few days and I'm very excited I'm going to get my Helix pierced, which is this one up here, which I'm very excited about because I've been loving piercings. Like, I've been thinking about getting several different ear piercings, so I'm super excited to get it done. There we go. What do we do next? It says, add the egg, water and oil. Okay, so another three inch eggs. So the first question I'm going to answer is favourite Harry Potter character? Um, that was by Rhiannon underscore Reese19. Oh my god, they're white eggs. That is cool. My favourite Harry Potter character, honestly, it's really hard because it depends if you're going by characters from the book or the film because I said the characters kind of act differently from book and film so it kind of depends if you're going by characters from the book or the film or if you're going by like Wattpad because obviously when you read Wattpad the characters are like different if you know what I mean like some of them sometimes they act differently or like the AU ones are like where Voldemort didn't exist and stuff different reality ones they're like completely different so I guess it kind of depends what one you're talking about so yeah, but I think overall my favourite characters I probably have to say I don't know, I love Ginny. Ginny's an icon. I also love Tonks and Ramus and James Potter. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I could actually choose. Like there are so many that I like. Also, exciting news, because around Christmas time we're gonna be going to Harry Potter Studios, but I can't wait that long to get a wand, you know, because I know you can just order wands online, but I really want to get a Harry Potter wand, like, from an actual Harry Potter shop. So there's a shop in London, I can't remember what shop it's called, um, but Matt found it, and we're going to be going there in a few weeks, and I'm so excited, because we're both going to get a wand, because me and Matt both love Harry Potter, and we're going to get a wand, and I'm very excited. I've just added some oil and the egg, and I'm now going to add the water, so three tablespoons of water. Okay, now I'm pretty sure what I have to do now is literally just whisk it. So, which whisk do I use? Big or little? I'm going to use a little whisk. And that really doesn't look very appealing, but I'm going to whisk anyways. Okay, next question. Are you planning on going sick form or college? Um, so, I'm actually going sick form. I've already had like my induction day, I had that in August. And then in, on September 1st, we have another day where we go up and get our schedules and stuff like that and then we start properly on September the 6th I think um so yeah and I think I might do like a first day vlog type thing I think that could be kind of fun so yeah there's not a lot of mixture in this but yeah so that's what I'm going to do so yeah I'm going to the sick form and then someone also that was by Michelle M. X and she also asked what are you doing what are you choosing for A levels so for my sick form you do three A levels so I'm doing health and social care, psychology and dance, which is very exciting. So yeah, I feel like I chose pretty good A-levels if I'm honest with you, like, yeah, I'm very excited to start them. This smells really good. 
Okay, someone takes, I'm gonna say that. Dr. Sherman said, how are you getting on with shifting? So, if you guys have seen a few of my videos, I talk about shifting. If you don't know what that is, um, I'll leave the definition on the screen. Um, I think it was okay, yeah. I had a little break a while back for like a few months where I didn't do any shifting at all. Um, and then I've tried a few more times since then and I'm also, but I have been watching videos on shifting and it says you have to have your vibrations high and you have to be being positive and I kind of went through a bit of a slump for a few months where I just really wasn't positive at all so I just thought I'd stop and just try and get my positivity back and I feel like I'm getting it back in now so obviously we all have our, obviously we all have our bad days but like I feel like I'm getting my positivity back so I am going to start trying to really get back into shifting again. I also bought a crystal necklace. It was a... What crystal was it? An amethyst, I think? I can't remember. Um, but I heard it be good for shifting. So hopefully that will, you know, help with my positivity and stuff as well. Um, I also bought a little adventuring crystal because that's going to be good as well. And I also made a new script as well because I did have an old script but I... When I came back to it a few months later, I didn't really like the script that much. So I actually wrote a new one, which I prefer a lot more. So, yeah. And I kind of changed, like, not who I was, but because before I was just me. But I've changed it so that I am a serious black and Roman Lupin's daughter. So, it's kind of fun. Right, I've got my baking tray and I've got my little cupcake thing. We've got these little scoops that we use to spoon mix. There's a big one and a little one, but I'm going to use a little tiny one because the cupcakes are a lot smaller. Okay, next question. Do you like Marvel films? Marvel films? I've actually only ever watched one Marvel film, and that is Spider-Man. And that was like a good few years ago. So I can't really say no just because I've never taking the time to actually bother watching them if you get what I mean um so I don't really know but from what I've seen they're not really my kind of thing but like I don't really mind Spider-Man but like yeah it's not exactly my kind of thing I guess really is not the most intricate thing in the world but hey ho okay we have got our finished cupcakes we've got eight there it's meant to make ten but we've only made eight and it says, put it in for 10 to 12 minutes. So I'll put it in for 10 minutes and then see. Very cute. And put the timer on for 10 minutes. Voila, we shall now wait 10 minutes for those to be done. And meanwhile, I'm gonna go to on the sofa and read some of my book and also probably go and take talk to you. <laughs> Odd though. With normal cupcakes, you like squish them and see if they bounce up, but these are like hard. But <laughs> we'll see. I'll leave them to cool for a little bit before I ice them because obviously the icing was well, really melted, but like it would just be runny. So <laughs> I'm gonna leave them for like 10 15 minutes probably. The girl is back. Um, it's been a while. I've put the cupcakes on this little thing because it's like you know a thing um so i'm now gonna making the icing so i'm pretty sure you just get the icing and put water and mix it okay so we've got the bowl add the icing sugar and then just grab a teaspoon put a little bit of water at a time and just mix it there's definitely need to be more and I'm going to keep mixing it until it's the right texture for the cupcakes. I think I've got it a good texture. It might be a little too... Actually, no, I think it's pretty good. Um, I'm also going to open up these. We can stick these on. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten. And then we've got eight cupcakes. So we can try one. And we're going to ice the cupcakes, I guess. They're not really cupcakes. They're literally tiny, but... We shall give it a shot. <laughs> this definitely isn't the most graceful or works, but hey ho. Good old 
else if you can see, I don't really know. On top of the cupcake. First one done, beautiful. And Elsa and Anna. So I had another question, which was advice for year 11. Now I feel like with this, it's kind of a bit difficult because obviously my year 11 was a lot different to most other people's year 11s because we didn't sit our GCSEs. But what I would say is, like one of the things I did do, is find the revision technique that works the best for you. So don't think about what other people's revision techniques are, think about your tech, like which one, yeah, which one works best for you. Um, or which couple work best, because I didn't just stick to one, I kind of stick to like two or three. But if there's, a t if there's a revision technique that you find literally doesn't work for you at all, then don't keep trying it kind of thing, because you're just going to be wasting your time. The thing is, with year 11, even though it's obviously your GPC year, don't spend all your time studying, still have fun, like do it all in moderation. Because if you just spend all your time studying, you're not going to be focusing to full potential, whereas if you have fun as well, then it kind of helps to focus. Put time aside to have fun with your friends or, you know, watch movies or whatever as well, because you still need that like, downtime to then be able to focus when it comes to studying, you know what I mean? There we go. I've got icing all over my fingers now, so. I'm going to enjoy this. Well, I'm actually gonna try these two. I've got two more left. I've got one that's just like the leaves, and then I've got an arm left, so I'm gonna try these. Tastes like soggy paper, <laughs> but it's still in, I guess. I'm also gonna try the icing too because I've got a bit of icing left. Let's try some of this. Yeah, pretty good. That is my amazing baking skills all done. So these are my just beautiful, just spectacular cupcakes, which definitely top skills <laughs> but there we go that is my cupcakes all made um i would try one but i want the icing to settle down first so you know but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video little mini catch up type thing just baking some cupcakes um so yeah if you do make sure you give the video a thumbs up and also go oh, i thought oh my gosh awesome. if you did enjoy the video make sure you give it a thumbs up and also go in the and subscribe and i'll see you all next week for a brand new video bye